But the rumors are true, the beer is cheaper than water. This thing is delicious. So this is the first thing we're getting here in Prague, and this is called the collage. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but... I think, I think that is native here to Prague, but it's really good. It's like a pastry, just like a... Like an apple flavored pastry is super good. So I'm not really a huge sweets person, so I decided to go with something a bit more savory and very, very simple. So it's essentially a sandwich with cheese, and there's gonna be garlic and this special sauce that they make. If you like savory, if you like garlic and onion, try this. Mm, this impression of Prague. The buildings are beautiful. That is just the first thing you'll notice. It's like being transplanted to 100 years ago or 200 years ago because the buildings they have this old world charm to them that i think is just so different than anywhere else in europe europe seems willing to just tear down old buildings and build them up with just square blocks but these buildings they retain a lot of their charm for sure first impressions of prague beautiful people are really nice the architecture is just phenomenal but i also thought things were going to be bigger like this is that's the clock it's very small. I thought it was going to be bigger. <laughs> not disappointed. It's still beautiful, but whenever you look at things in the pictures, like everything looks so grand and vast, and it's just like it's a bit more modest. So coming here, these chimney cakes, I read online, oh, they're not Czech. Don't eat them. They're not a Czech thing. Then we were talking to a cab driver, and he said they were brought here. I'm not sure when, but it is a Czech thing, kind of. So we're going to try some because we never had them. We got the chimney cake, whatever it's called here. We see them all over Europe. It just seems like it's a giant pastry, it's either stuffed with some type of fruit. We got apple. Let's see if the actual bread is good. It's very thick. It's pretty good. I would give it a seven out of 10. Okay, so now it's my turn to test it out. We actually got caught up and forgot to make part of the video because we couldn't stop eating it so much. So. Um, so this is not a first taste test for me, but this thing is delicious. It has these really like um, almost like baked cinnamon apples, whipped cream, and this um, uh, it's like a croissant, almost like the, the bread of a croissant. It's I guess so you thick. check croissant. <laughs> and then of course on the outside there's like a cinnamon. So there's that. Eat vlog and take pictures. So we're here in front of the uh, Lenin wall. Uh, is it the Soviet Lenin or John Lenin? <laughs> no, 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 no. We found a traditional Czech restaurant. I'll put it down below because I'm not pronouncing that name. But the rumors are true. The beer is cheaper than water. This half a liter, I think it was $1.30 for this. Let's see if it's good. very good. So this is the traditional cold cut that they uh, serve here in the Czech Republic. This has mustard and garlic. Is that garlic? That's really good. I can't, I can't taste the difference between certain types of hams, but to be honest with you, I love the mustard, so that does it for me. It's, I think, a pork shoulder that's been soaked in beer with some potatoes, I'm not sure what that is, and sauerkraut. And Vernon has two sausages. <laughs> Damn, I definitely, you definitely gotta read the menu more closely next time. Lady recommended these local aperitifs, these things that you take after dinner. Um, I'm not sure what these are called, but I remember this one being a pear flavored one and that one being honey. So yeah, I'm not too keen on these kinds of things, but let's see. <laughs> I think the face says it all. Finish it off, but I didn't do too well because I honestly thought that thing was going to be like 15% alcohol and it was like 40. I, I kept it in my mouth for more than a few seconds. <laughs> but now it's Mariana's turn. So she recommended for me, I was just still laughing at Vernon's face. She recommended for me the honey one. It smells like honey licorice. Let's see. So imagine cough syrup with honey flavor. A few moments later.
We found the Nutrias. I don't know how safe, I don't know how close I can get to him. But look at that little guy. <laughs> Vernon made a new friend. Everyone, this is Chester. Chester. <laughs> Vernon, no, they have big teeth. I'm not as scared as Mariana is, very clearly, okay? I think they're just more curious about me than I'm curious about that. So I think he's going to come up, take a sniff, and just run off. But well, do you want to take that risk? Oh, yeah, I will. How good are the hospitals in Prague? We'll find out. Maybe that's the next episode. Thank you, Jim. Okay, okay. This is already 10 times cleaner than most of the uh, places we've been to before. No, I'm kidding. This is great. This is really awesome. Yeah, it's not huge, but it's enough for what we need. Good location. It's simple. And let's see the bathroom. It's very clean. Definitely freshly cleaned. Two hours later. We had a nap for like two hours. Dude, that was so needed. Yeah, we woke up at 3 a.m. to head to Marco Polo. <laughs> Walking around Europe, you have concerts and then boom, just the market. So whenever we travel, I usually try to go like on the local websites to find places to eat. And I kept seeing this restaurant show up so many times. It just, this literally feels like you're inside of your grandma's kitchen almost. It's very cozy. The atmosphere is very relaxing and the food looks very interesting. I love food in Prague. Uh, it's just something else. So we have venison pate, we have sheep cheese, and we have roasted honey walnut duck breast. And some, of course, pickled vegetables. For the first night in Prague, this has been amazing. We have live music, we're in a cozy restaurant, and we're gonna go to an interesting bar that I found. So I went with the roasted duck and potato dumplings, which I did not expect them to look like that. Vernon's are is just beautiful. Oh, is this just that's grilled duck, right? Yeah. You look like you're in love. Mm. I think for a lot of people, if you don't tell them that this isn't steak, they they wouldn't know. And it goes well with this like fruit sauce that it comes with and uh, currant flavored rice. So. I'm not even focusing on the camera right now. I'm looking at the fruit too much. Look at that skin. Ooh. I'm not even a huge duck lover. If you don't like duck, come to Prague to eat duck. 